Buongiorno, I'm Carmine Marzano from Osteria Marzano. And today I'm gonna make San Marzano tomato sauce. Okay, today we're gonna do San Marzano tomato sauce. So we have some nice San Marzano tomato, canned San Marzano tomato, some garlic, some shallots, some extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper, and fresh basil. Now I have some fresh Roma tomato here because when I do some pasta, I like to put some fresh tomatoes for the freshness. We're gonna get the shallots, we're gonna have some nice garlic. Okay, we're gonna start to chop. I'm gonna do it slowly so you can learn too. I'm gonna cut slowly the onion and then actually you can give a cut in the middle here too and then slowly so you just need to do one cut you don't need to do more than that okay we'll be, we're gonna give a little bit more chop here so it'll be more fine okay it's beautiful now we're gonna Mash some beautiful garlic and chop the garlic very fine too. Okay, now because we have a lot of tomatoes, we're gonna chop this other half too. this okay are we ready okay now that we have the shallots cut chopped and the garlic chopped we're gonna put some nice nice extra virgin olive oil in the pan and we're gonna put garlic and onion together and we're gonna go on the stove now, okay? And we're gonna let this cook for about a couple of minutes. In the meantime, while this is cooking, I'm gonna chop, I'm gonna use the this Roboku, and I'm gonna chop this tomato, okay? Now, you can use the food meal too, but this will be easier and faster too. And because I want you to do it, meaning to do the recipe, I give you the faster way. Okay. Okay. This is done. One thing. We're gonna go here and see how the onion... Shout out onion working. Very good. Okay. They're getting there. On a meal or two. Okay. Now the onion is ready. The garlic nice and golden. We're gonna put the tomato in. Okay. Fire. We're gonna lower and then we're gonna add all this tomato that we have from before. Now I made a big number one, number ten canned tomato, so it's a lot of tomato sauce. But you know you can you can store this in the refrigerator for up to a week and in the freezer for up to six months. So you can always make some tomato sauce in advance and keep it, okay? We're gonna put some nice sea salt. And we're gonna add some pepper, black pepper here. Yeah, 
Okay. It's not that I put a lot of pepper, it's this grinder doesn't really grind much pepper, so. Okay. Now, let's sire the fire again, but this cannot slow down too much. This tomato sauce, uh, to me, you need to cook no more than 30 minutes. And if it's less than this, even 20 minutes, because you need, still need to taste the freshness of the, of, the, of the tomato. So let's say that this one is gonna have to cook 30 minutes, okay? That's good. Now, I know today I decided to do this because this is my, one of my, the, my first video that I'm doing, and uh, it's probably one of the mother sauce in Italian cooking, and I'm Italian, so this is the first, the first recipe I give you. With this, you can do all the pasta, everything you want, and other sauces too, okay? So I'll see you in my next recipe, which is gonna be some nice fish. Ciao.